Welcome back ladies and gentlemen for another exciting episode from the Olympus Sky and um, well it has been a while indeed I mean uh, I think a month or so uh, well I was a bit too busy but I do feel like um, I should put out a video because I need your opinions on a couple of matters and uh, just maybe like talk about my private life so you might understand a bit better why I suddenly disappear uh, this has happened like a couple of times on YouTube and I still always try to do like regular videos but uh, let's put it this way last month has been very hectic for me and I was barely able to do anything like I haven't opened my mail I think in a month or so I'm not sure but I saw that, uh, you know, uh, just doing my random uh, replies on YouTube, um, putting some comments back in and uh, replying on email. I should be back, although it's still busy, but it's going a lot better. I uh, actually, uh, it, it shouldn't be that busy this month, but uh, apparently it turned out different. So yeah, I, t I have totally no control about that and then after this video I'll still have to work and uh, continue on. Now uh, I see I haven't closed some stuff here, now let me close that and let's jump into this video because I'm really excited about this, um, this probe, you know. If you didn't know, we were actually landing a probe for, for, for research purposes on an asteroid. Now how cool is that? I mean, uh, I've actually been, uh, made a video not to, not to, I, well... I almost said not too long ago, but since I suddenly disappeared, it's, uh, it has been a while, <laughs> so to say. But uh, the video was called uh, Giant Tower Asteroid, um, yeah, Giant Tower on an Asteroid, or something like that. And basically what I was telling you in the video is that it's perfectly normal to, uh, you know, um, have a society uh, use like an asteroid for, for research purposes. So, uh, you know, um, this is really an accomplishment in human uh, human history to uh, put some like land, land something on an asteroid is, is that, does that even need el elaboration it's so cool I can uh, barely uh, explain it now there's no uh, explanation needed there but uh, also what I found funny so let's jump in and let's see if I'm on the correct image here yeah? it's pretty an old image now I found definitely some really interesting stuff and uh, you know for, I'm, I've been doing this for so long and since I started my YouTube channel and your comments literally make me smarter and, and change my perspective on several matters and make me think about different things. For example, like um, the, the place where Curiosity has landed and we found so, 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 so much on, on Mars. Um, it's, it's just, there has to be a reason why they chose that landing site. Not just because it's easier to land there, but because there's there's some stuff they don't want you to see, but they want to see it, so to say. Now, all right, let's let's jump into this. This is an uh, older image of the asteroid here, and you can clearly see. I mean, this is ridiculous. You can see like entire spots like gone. And let's go back. Let me see. It says right about here. Let's go to the next one. It should say so. Now you have one. Okay, let's say this is taken. Uh, this picture was taken from a distance of about 67 kilometers. Uh, the image scale is 1.2 meters per pixel. And as you can see, when you zoom in there, it looks absolutely rubbish. It's understandable. Then you look at here, and you can see a lot more. Let's go to the next one. But because there is some kind of thing going on here. This one's a proper one. I think I lost it. Now this one. Where is it? I think I lost it. It was one picture here, which was 70. I think it was three meters higher up in space. Had the same uh, meters per pixel. Anyway, so I jump into it. And yeah, well, I've got to get used to this again. But we'll be covering like two images here. Because, uh, well, like I always say, you have to compare anomalies to be sure that they are actually in there. Or try and catch them, like uh, removing an entire... Uh, I don't know an entire area uh, so you always got to do that that's really cool so we start off with this image and there is some kind of reason why they decided to land right there not just because it's easy to land there let's zoom in there now I'm no expert I'm not working in S or NASA of course um, look at this area wouldn't this be a lot easier than, than here you know they're saying like for sunlight purposes but it's it's let's say 
about 100 meters further give or take 150 100 but anyways let's uh, let's jump into the anomalies why not so the first thing that stood out for me is is kind of this so i actually basically flipped the image and as always you can find the enhanced version on my google plus so you can check it out for yourself be sure to follow me on google plus and subscribe and thumbs up that will be uh that, that is highly appreciated and thank you very much for for um so many nice comments uh, so many so, so much intelligent feedback it is really useful and i appreciate it a lot now um i have two images so we'll jump and we'll look at this we'll jump to another image here uh, so you can check it out with a lot more detail because i started with this one and i ended up with uh with another one here when you look here let me grab let me switch it up here of course as usual st i'm still the same guy I'm still making the same mistake here by not making a layer up front here so I can draw it out for you. If you're familiar with my channel, of course, I always do that because it's not that clear, so to say. I could just go like the look there, something no. It's it just doesn't work. You have to see the geometrical patterns here. And uh, let me see if this is okay. So I've been really sincerely messing with Photoshop lately. Uh, let me change it. That one is okay. Right, that should do it. So first off, you know, let uh, this this disc here. It's it's clearly a disc, and it's it's weird. You know, when you think about it, there could be like some uh, the rest of the rock could be like behind it, but uh, we'll definitely jump into that one a bit more. And the first thing I noticed actually about this one, you can see that there's some extra, you know, uh, some extra light reflecting here. And there's some light, um, some kind of light reflecting here. And this actually looked to me like a tube. Now I've been doing this for years so I can easily recognize this. But if, if I, you know, it's, if you look at it, it's a white dot. How can you say that? So, you know, I would never be able to make that conclusion if I didn't see the other image. Now, let's jump into the other. Now, nah, let's finish this one first. <laughs> so excited about this. Humanity, one of humanity's greatest achievements. Just, just land something on an asteroid. That is so cool. <clears throat> so, the second thing I noticed here. You look at this. And you, you can see. Nah, I always make that mistake. You can clearly see that there's something going on here. This is something. That shape is definitely not natural. Now, don't expect to see like um, brand new boxes or something on an asteroid. If you know what I'm talking about, some people call this um, digital archaeology, which is a really cool name, man. Uh, yeah, that's that's basically how it feels because you're going back in time when you look at these images this is so extremely cool um i mean you don't know how long the asteroid is uh, is in space so to say how long it's circling around and then you got to talk about formation but there, there, there is a lot of stuff going on there but we'll see that in the next image but now you see what i'm talking about there i just wanted to cover the top as well it will become a lot more clear in a second but the top isn't included unfortunately could there be a reason behind it i don't know i'll let you decide that <clears throat> so there are a couple things i noticed there a couple more things like you have a kind of triangular shape here right let's say that's a rock all right now why you have another triangle here i know that there's nothing in between here but they seem to be very parallel to each other and that is quite interesting so to say um also it almost looks like a really small city i wish i had like a high, high quality picture i will ask essa for this one as well but basically i've been waiting for seven weeks to uh finish a series i've been working on so if you knew i'm trying to catch up here uh, as well because i was gone for approximately four weeks so i'm trying to um uh, explain some stuff to my viewers as well i mean for my subscribers my regular subscribers that is if you're still regular <laughs> thank you so much for for just coming back and just looking at the videos and giving me so much positive feedback and everything but uh yeah i, I made an entire series in the last month and it's blood set and sweat and tears I think I'm going to wait one more week for Esta to give me a reply. If that doesn't happen, I'm going to drive literally to, to one of their headquarters because I basically live next to Esta. I didn't know that for the longest time, but I do know now. 
So uh, that series, it should change you. And uh, it's an image I, uh, it's, it's the reason why I started this channel. And it's changed me basically as well. I mean, my entire point of looking at, just looking at those same things, it's, it will never be the same anymore. And I hope it will have that positive effect on you as well to question in that. Now, let me uh, go back here. So what I also noticed here is kind of, you see, you see this 90 degree angle, right? It just literally sticks out. Now what is even more interesting, let me copy the um, original layer, is it, I know it looks really vague. There's two parallel lines here, but what is even crazier, look at these pixels here, it goes to here. Now look closely. You see in this enhanced version, because it, you can see it in the original one as well, of course I'm not making stuff up here. Uh, just made a mistake there. One dot, two dot, three dot, and one hidden dot here. Now you can definitely see when you follow these dots here, it's going down, it's going down, it's going down, parallel, and this kind of couple of pixels, they all connect to those parallel lines. That's, uh, that's strange to me. It really is. Now let's go uh, check out the original one. You can see it's it's weird. I mean, what the hell is that? And it's like sitting on a circular platform, like in the sky, and it's it's way above the rest here. I just don't know what's going on there, but it does definitely look like there's something going on there, especially this piece here. I'm gonna make the mistake again. It is really interesting, and there's a couple of more stuff lying around here. I also note some more stuff here. It's really vague. We can see something going like that. Now I'll show the other image where some of the artifacts are a lot clearer. And we look at this one. Let me make again a new layer here and just brush it out for you. And all right, let's go. Um, maybe I'll add a bit more. Make it a bit darker here. Definitely making it a bit darker. That should work. Maybe just a bit more contrast as well. Why not? I think that should do. Now we'll analyze definitely this object here, this object here. And let me draw this out for you. You can clearly see, look, this is definitely buried in the sand. Or I don't know, maybe some foundation like some pillars going down. I have no idea why it is like it is. It, it, this is like it just can't be just rock and when you think in 3d this one like goes to the back here just a small line here it is clearly some kind of disc or maybe some kind of broken device but you can see now here you just have a bit of a shadow so it looks a lot more like a pipe here although this is really hard to say how oh, actually freaking triangle here unbelievable so I have no idea what it is I mean yeah let's let's get let's say uh, just by chance but the lines on it are really fascinating so to say in a way it's like positioned in the ground and just to see this on an asteroid it's it's extraordinary and so the next object really made me question and that's basically where it all started for me with this image um, remember like I said it's it's destroyed it's broken it's on an asteroid so keep that in mind there's like a line going here and some kind of like tube going underneath it uh, very questionable and it's definitely something here I see definitely some leftover pixels here this is it's weird So yeah, could we just be looking at some rocks or, I mean, it's still an asteroid. Uh, you can definitely expect some uh, some different shapes on it. I mean, come on, every asteroid should be unique and a unique trajectory. Now look at this. Now let's go like this. I mean, it's, it's literally that straight. And when you connect into this, go like this, you know. 
so you can see that and it almost seems like there's some kind of um, symmetrical piece on the other side but it's a little bit broken up here and as you can see another great mystery going on there and uh, also I'd like to announce here I um, it's thanks to mr. Carlo I don't know some kind of guy uh, from YouTube so I got connect here uh, got I had a chat with him basically and he said why don't you write a book well I am actually writing a book now so I want to uh, compile everything I know and explain why I'm really just not buying it anymore it's it's just if you think this is vague oh you just wait and see I mean I made so many videos by now um, I would like to do so so many more videos and uh, you'll definitely see more videos and I think because it's now Tuesday, I think Thursday might make another video, and that one will um, get a bit more into detail why I just I'm just not buying it anymore. I uh, usually when you go to YouTube, people, and you can actually see that in the statistics. Or just watch one video on your front page, but don't like backtrack. Um, uh, it, it, it is a bit understandable because my commentary, my English was a lot worse uh, back then when I just started. I mean, uh, you can't make like a channel and your first video is like super awesome. Uh, you got to learn how to present. I remember I was really over sharpening stuff and I was actually, it w was the normalest thing for me to do. And I really expected people to see stuff and look through it. But it takes a trained eye to, uh, to do that. So I really switched up the way I'm presenting stuff also got a new microphone whatever you name it um i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what your opinion is about this because i really don't believe that uh, and that's a coincidence to land here like 200 meters from this power of rubble here who knows what that is i mean i'll just zoom in one more time and remember i post my nice pictures on google plus and basically i don't think the original one's that bad i really don't but what happens when I uh, enhance it, you can see that the lines pop a bit more because I would never notice this kind of like um, entrance kind of like, like like we talked about. It's kind of arch here and then something is going underneath that arch which is, which is questionable, you know. It's still a tube. I haven't seen tubes in nature, so to say. And not yet, I guess. I and mean, this is not nature, this is space. <laughs> just, just figuratively speaking, you know. So you understand what I'm talking about. So I do uh, invite you to check this picture out yourself. Or official link in the description as always. Be sure to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. And definitely let me know what, what your opinion is on this image. And uh, I hope you're excited as well. I mean this is, you know, like I said, this is one of the greatest achievements in human history. Just to land a probe on an asteroid. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. Right, I think uh, I'll wrap it up now and uh, start uploading. I posted on Google Plus. Uh, this should be um, uh, 20, uh, 2000 here. But I'm 50 minutes due. Probably have it up in five minutes and then I'll be adding links and all that stuff. So, uh, again, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your patience. Expect a lot of videos. I might actually start, like, uh, I don't know if I said it already. But I might actually start the series on Friday and you will have every day one video for about a week or so. I don't remember how, how uh, many parts I made. But uh, I can guarantee you it will be so exciting. And I got some other stuff I would like to share but I never had the chance to do so. So uh, thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video hopefully. And thank you for supporting as always.